Hi, welcome. I hope everything is well with you. If you don't know me, my name is Paulo and I usually do videos about DaVinci Resolve and other stuff related to video. And today I'm here to explain you how you can do a terrain in DaVinci Resolve Fusion page and I hope you like it. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can do it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve in the edit page and this is uh, a video that I created using the technique that I'm going to show you. If I hit play you notice that we are flying through the mountains and into the, the sunset and for doing that it's very easy just come here to the media pool here right click new fusion composition you give it a name I'm going to give it 3D and create now double click and we enter in the fusion page we have only the media out let's start our composition let's start by adding our image plane 3D and let's add our render also let me connect the render from here from the output of the render TD to the input of the media out and I'm gonna put this over here and now I'm gonna use a uh, fast noise to create the ground so for doing that shift space and type fast noise I'm gonna use this one and add and if I put this in the viewer one just pressing one or if you want uh, you can drag it over here it's the same and now you can see that you have this like cloud uh, areas more white and areas more black and the more white it is the higher the terrain will be and the black the lower the terrain will be you can adjust this you come here to this side to the inspector go to the detail you can adjust the detail you can adjust the, adjust the contrast, more contrast or less, and the brightness. So if it's like this, these areas will be higher and this will be flat. You can adjust as you want and you can adjust the scale. And you can rotate it, you can adjust the terrain as you want. So I'm going to give it a little bit more brightness over here. Okay, the angle, the scale little more like this and now we're gonna use a node called uh, displacement 3d that we're gonna grab the fast noise and we'll put it in our image plane for doing that we're gonna select the image plane 3d shift space and gonna type displacement and it's here displacement 3d and add now if we connect our fast noise to our displacement 3d and put this over here you see this crazy thing over here and don't be afraid it's normal so first thing let's go to image plane 3d we're gonna use the wireframe over here and let's disconnect this one and increase our subdivisions to get the maximum resolution and now we're gonna to this displacement and we're gonna reduce the scale a little bit because it's too big and if you notice here this is vertically and we don't want that we want to flat to the ground for doing that we're going to go to the image plane 3d go here and let's rotate this like this so it's 90 degrees let's see if it's 90 or minus 90 so now we have our image over here and as you can see here the the borders are starting higher and i don't want that i want the borders starting in a line and then growing up for doing that you come here and add a mask over here and connect this to the fast noise and let me see one over here so as you can see it's down so we come here to the image plane 3d and the rotation we're gonna add a minus over here and now it's up and i hope you understand what i did so if i remove the minus you notice that 
this is going down and we want to go in up. For doing that, we just invert this to minus 90. Now, as you can see, we are already starting in a plane. Then we come here to the mask and we're going to increase the size. So we're going to put it like this and like this. We're going to leave a little border and I'm going to here to this off edge and I'm going to increase this to merge the two. And as you can see now, it's starting from a almost flat to the ground. And if you want to increase the size of this, you come here to the scale and you can unlock this and you can increase like this and like this and have a bigger area. So we, we have our terrain. So let's untick here the wireframe and now let's add the texture over here. So for doing that, you just go and choose an image of grass or something and we put it over here and connect it to our image plane and there you have it. You can adjust more or less, look, increase or decrease the, the terrain and it's done. Now let's add our camera for doing that. Come here to the camera, add it here and connect it to our, to our the output of the displacement and it creates, it puts this Merge 3D and now you can connect the Merge 3D to here and that's how you see it and let's select the camera because the camera is too low so let's put it somewhere around here and let's and now you are seeing this let me reduce this, let me put it way back a little bit more higher and you can come here and rotate it a little bit down and you can go a little bit higher and now you can adjust the camera as you want so now it's seeing so it's too much and put it something like this okay now you have your terrain and of course, if you want to add here a background, you can copy this, for example, look, control V, control C, control V, put it over here. And if I connect this to here, something will appear. It's the same because this is two image in this one. I'm gonna move it back over here and I'm going to come here to the displacement 3D and I'm going to increase the scale and I'm going to put an image of that simulates a mountain. Look, this is the image. So as you can see, it's a mountain with the snow. And if I connect this to this, you have this. Now, if you want to adjust the colors over here it's very easy just come here add a transform node over here and you can first increase a little bit of the size and now you can rotate the image like this and you can put like this you can adjust the center a little bit over there so or something like this Okay, so okay, a little, little bit and now you have here this. So this is what you are seeing and of course you can change the camera. So let's select the camera and change the cookie here. So this is can adjust like this. So and you can put it real close. And of course you are seeing this. You can come here to the dis displacement go to the scale you can go to the here and increase this and you can go here and do the same to the image plane 3d transform and increase also your and of course if you don't want this uh, to too big you come here and you can reduce look something more like this and increase 
this a little bit and do the same in this one and you have your terrain let's go to the camera also here transform and let's put it like this and now you have your terrain with the grass and the mountains and this I don't want the green over here I want it like this and let okay so it's something like this now you're gonna add a background over here so another image plane 3d over here and let's add our clouds over here and let's connect this one to the merge also and we have our clouds let's select the image plane and we can put it here in the back a little higher and we're gonna increase it, the size also transform let's scale it and let's scale this and let's put it closer and closer and closer now we have the clouds and now you just if you want to add some movement to here you come here to the first select the camera sir over here and add a keyframe for example add these keyframes go to over here and move the camera for example something like over here and and add a little bit of rotation okay now you just have to play it it's gonna be a little choppy it's going slow because it's rendering This is what I want to show you to do. And the final result is this. So it's done. So as you could see, it's not that difficult to do. I know it's a little bit more complicated than the other videos that I've been doing about uh, the Fusion page, but the final result is something more interesting. And this will increase your video's uh, quality. So I hope you learned something today and I hope this information was helpful for you. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I will launch a video. Until then, bye.